Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we're gonna be talking about Cyberpunk 2077 or well more precisely about patch 1.62. So today you probably logged onto your Steam or GOG and saw there was a new update for Cyberpunk and if you weren't following the news maybe you were wondering if this is the update everyone was talking about. Well not exactly because patch 1.62 is ray tracing overdrive mode patch and even CDPR calls this more like a technological preview update rather than the update people were expecting. So we have to wait a little bit more until patch 1.7 comes out which is coming out before the expansion itself which is something that uh, CDPR has been saying and it was actually said on the latest investor call. So patch 1.7 brings the features meanwhile this update is mostly related to graphics themselves and only if you have a 4x a series GPUs from Nvidia going from 1070 Ti and up then you will be able to use this but without further wasting your time let's get into it and also keep in mind that this is a news video not a comparisons video I don't have the 4x series GPU so there is no way for me to showcase the gameplay with this overdrive mode so the update for me was at least 1.5 gigabyte on GOG and CDPR also came out with patch notes and a statement so let's go through it together with Nvidia we are bringing a completely new fully ray traced aka pat traced rendering mode to the game with a patch ray tracing overdrive mode we are proud of it because it pushes the boundaries of what's possible in technology however because it is so new and fundamentally different from what we've been using so far we know it's not going to be perfect from the start and players might experience some issues that's why we've decided to call it a technology preview this is a vision of the future that we want to share and we are committed to continue working and improving on this feature and also as they say here this technology preview of ray tracing overdrive mode is only supported if you have 4070 ti and up gpus which are uh, well quite expensive and only if you were able to get them i don't know how it is with prices right now but um i, I still think it's not really where it's supposed to be now also if you have uh, nvidia 1390 you can actually experience this in 1080p in 30 frames so it's not ideal only 30 frames but at least if you have 3090 you can turn on the feature itself and because this is cutting edge technology which requires the highest performing hardware available it's going to be turned off by default now this is interesting because if you have a gpu which has at least 8 gigabytes of vram they added an option to have render pad traced screenshots in the photo mode this is possible because it means rendering just one frame as opposed to rendering several frames every second which is kind of understandable so if you do have a gpu which has at least again 8 gigabytes of vram you go to photo mode and it's only going to give you this amazing options where you're going to actually see at least a preview of how it's going to look like once you finally buy the 4x series gpu and also besides what we talked about like path tracing technology preview they also added dlaa so nvidia dlaa is ai based anti-aliasing mode designed to improve image quality you can actually well obviously turn this only on nvidia rtx graphics cards and it can be enabled in settings graphics and then nvidia dlss section now after testing nvidia dlaa honestly i was very positively surprised by how it looks i mean generally the city the details the background looked really nice and the ai anti-aliasing technology nvidia is using here was uh, quite good i mean compared to the rest but um i will be using it a bit without ray tracing to see how it does generally the frame rate in that situation is very good but um, what matters the most is that the quality of the image is well done they also added intel xcss which is the xc super sampling from intel 1.1 version an upscaling technology using machine learning to provide improved performance with high image quality and can be enabled in settings in graphics in the resolution scaling section and they added benchmark improvements which is going to share you more information after the you know the results are done which is very nice so so far as i said even though mostly this update is only if you have a 4x series gpus and you have the latest tech because well uh, cd project red or well cd project is in a very good partnership with nvidia and they have been pushing this technology like crazy throughout their patches and throughout their game so it looks very good like there is no denying that even as a screenshot when you just take a look at it it is 
phenomenal technology but so far sadly like um, this is only if you have the best hardware and it's going to be a while until this tech becomes something of a mainstream unless this is replaced by something else in the future we shall see so this is everything for today thank you so much for watching so patch 1.7 is going to be coming in the future before the expansion because well you have to give people some features who are not going to be buying the expansion in the first place because yes they have to count that in so this is going to be for the base game uh well we have to wait until june until they start you know marketing the actual expansion and then that's mostly when we're going to hear more about the update but going from steam depots already after this patch came out a new depot was open behind the scenes so they are working on something and um, i'm very excited to see what they have for us in this final stages of the game basically because patch 1.7 is going to be the last feature update for the base game after that expansion some patches hot fixes if they need which is probably going to be needed most likely and then that's going to be it they're going to continue to work on the witcher and well establishing probably the concept for the cyberpunk sequel so yeah thank you so much for watching this is lkm signing out don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and also check us out on twitter and discord and also huge thanks to my current patreon supporters this is lkm signing out and i will see you in the next one bye bye